All right, y'all, we have the first trailer for Glass, and I have to say, I think it looks pretty awesome. This was given to us today at Comic-Con, so here it Before is. we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on everything that is happening at San Diego Comic-Con. So to start off, if you are not familiar with Glass, it's a different type of superhero movie, and it's the third movie in a three-movie saga. The first movie was Unbreakable, and it came out in the year 2000. The next movie was Split, which came out in the year 2016, and Glass is the third installation tying them all together. Glass is about three main characters, David Dunn, who's played by Bruce Willis, Elijah Price, or Glass, who is played by Samuel L. Jackson, and Kevin Crumb, or Beast, who is played by James McAvoy. So in the beginning of the trailer, we are introduced to Dr. Staple, who says she is a psychiatrist, but she's a very specific type of psychiatrist. She says that she specializes in individuals who believe they are superheroes. So here's what you need to know. In the first movie, Unbreakable, we are introduced to Elijah Price, AKA Mr. Glass. What do we call you, sir? First name, Mr. Last name, Glass. As he mentions in the trailer, his bones are super fragile and they break super easily, hence the name Mr. Glass. He was bullied a lot as a child because of his frailty. My bones break easily. I've had 94 breaks in my life. But you have an extraordinary IQ. So his mom bought him a bunch of comic books so he could get confidence from reading superhero stories. As he grew up, he started to think that these superheroes were actually based on real people. Their stories were just over exaggerated. While he searches for his purpose in life, he comes up with a theory, based on the comic books that he's read, that if he represents extreme human frailty, there must be someone unbreakable at the opposite extreme. He then starts his quest throughout life to find this Mr. Unbreakable. Enter David Dunn, who is also searching for his purpose in life. David was riding a train that derails and crashes, killing 131 passengers, in which he is the only survivor and had no injuries. Elijah realizes that this could be Mr. Unbreakable. It could be the person that some of these superheroes are modeled after. So he leaves his card on David Dunn's car. David eventually goes to Elijah's comic book store that he owns. This is where Elijah tells him his theory and then becomes his mentor, helping him understand his powers. He discovers that he has superhuman strength and that he has extra sensory perception that enables him to glimpse criminal acts committed by people who make contact with him. You think you have superpowers? It's a feeling. Vision. I have to touch them. You believe you are a protector. Basically, if he touches you, he can kind of take a glimpse into what you've done. He also discovers that he has a weakness. Just like Superman's weakness is kryptonite, his weakness is water. After a few heroic acts throughout the movie and saving two kids at the end, Elijah throws him a celebration and at the end he extends his hand for him to shake. This allows David Dunn to take a look into his mind and finds out that he is actually a supervillain. He finds out that he has caused over hundreds of deaths including several terrorist disasters and the derailing of David's train. Elijah insists that the deaths are justified because he was looking for him the whole entire time and that his purpose in life is to be the villain to his superhero. The movie ends with Elijah calling himself Mr. Glass and then David eventually turns him in in which Elijah is convicted. So that's what you need to know about Elijah Price and David Dunn in the movie Unbreakable. Split introduced us to Kevin Crumb. It's a man who has 23 different personalities inside of him. The 24th personality that we find out is called The Beast, and The Beast has superhuman abilities. I have no question. There are two dozen identities. I'm Mary Reynolds. Por favor, senora. We almost got you, bro. That live in that body with you. The Beast is coming any minute now for you guys. But what I am questioning is your belief that you are something more than human. <laughs> and yet, it is true. Kevin Crumb ends up kidnapping three teenage girls, in which he ends up killing two. The third one shoots him in the chest twice, but it seems to have zero effect, but she does end up escaping. At the end of the movie, it goes to a diner, in which the news is on TV and several people are watching it. The news is doing a story on Kevin and his 24 personalities and the situation that happened. One of the females notes a similarity between Kevin and a wheelchair-using criminal who was incarcerated 15 years earlier. As she tries to remember the nickname he was given, the man sitting next to her tells her that it was Mr. Glass. And who was it sitting next to her that told her that? 
none other than David Dunn from Unbreakable. So Glass is the movie that brings all of these three characters together. David Dunn is pursuing Crumb's superhuman figure, The Beast, in a series of escalating encounters, while at the same time, Glass emerges as an orchestrator who holds secrets critical to both of them. So Glass is really about Elijah Price, aka Mr. Glass, and The Beast teaming up together as supervillains, going against the superhero, David Dunn, who is unbreakable. As Mr. Glass says in the trailer, a lot of people are going to die. Are you ready? A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Are you ready? Glass will be about David Dunn trying to stop Mr. Glass and the Beast from killing many, many people. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. So there's everything that you need to know about this trailer and the backstory that they talk about in the trailer as well. How do you think it looks and how do you feel about the third and final installation of this saga? Let me know your thoughts, feelings, hopes, and dreams in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on Glass and everything happening at San Diego Comic Con. Thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.